Alrighty, now uh, I haven't done one of these in a while. I'm gonna do a dessert. So the dessert I'm gonna do uh, today uh, is apple fritters. I'm not ready for dessert yet. It's still only about, I don't know, three or four in the afternoon. But what you're gonna do with these is get them ready a little bit in advance and um, let them soak. And then it's good actually, because you pre-prepare everything and it means that when you do come down to actually wanting to serve up the dessert after dinner when you can't be bothered cooking, it's really easy. Start off with a couple of apples, peeled. I'm using a Granny Smith. The reason I'm using a green apple, like a Granny Smith, is because that they don't melt. They don't fall apart. They, they keep their structure quite well, which is really important for this. Um, you don't want them to be all buggered and melted inside. A red apple would, would do, but this will, um, this will definitely hold together better. Now, traditionally you're supposed to core these. I don't know how that's gonna go, to be completely honest, because I haven't got an apple corer. It's just for presentation, really. Nah, it's not gonna work. So, I'm gonna do them in strips. The idea is that you core them and then cut them into slices so that they're round with a sort of a hole in the middle. You know what? One apple's probably gonna do me. All right, let's get these bits of apple. Put them in a bowl. And in there, we're gonna add some caster sugar. So I'll probably add about, I don't know, 50 grams to one apple. And then you can use grappa or you can use brandy. I didn't have either of those things. So I have fancy brandy, which is cognac and about a tablespoon of that. Make sure everything gets a nice coating. You could actually probably get away with like a spiced rum on this as well. Don't worry, if I was going to use heaps of it, I'd, you know, use the cheaper stuff and wouldn't usually use cognac on, on a dessert as an ingredient. All right. Well, that's really nice. It's a really nice combo. And that can go in the fridge. So in here we want to add an egg, oh sorry the apples are supposed to be at room temperature and this is supposed to be refrigerated. A bit of flour, so I'll probably go for about a quarter of a cup here, a little bit of milk. Touch of oil, add a bit of salt, give that a little whisk, whisk up and see what we need more of. Yeah, that looks good. We want kind of a, a thinish batter, medium kind of, not as thick as a pancake, but thicker than, I don't know, a milkshake. If you need to thicken it or thin it, obviously just add or add flour or milk. Okay. That goes in the fridge. And we'll come back in a couple of hours and get cooking. I'll clean up here. Five hours later. Okay, if you watched my previous episode, you'll know how this went. So I actually prepared the stuff before then i filmed another episode so i've had dinner and now i'm gonna have dessert so <laughs> i had a great dinner actually flashback hear that okay Marin. yeah <laughs> yep doing that again end of flashback i'm gonna get that the uh, batter from the from the here, the fridge. And the trouble with this is I've got the fire over here and this over here, this is one of those few occasions where I have to say, doing it on this, this here gas burner would be really convenient, but I won't sully myself. All right, that looks pretty sticky. Let's just put one in and see how it looks. 
Mm. No, I'm gonna add a bit of flour to that. I will of course put the correct ratios in the recipe, which is in the description below. Yeah, that looks much better. The consistency I would say is like, um, like custard. That's what it's like. There we go. Perfect, great. Can be a little bit lumpy. Lumpy's fine. Let's get over there and make this happen. Oh, need some paper towel to put these things on. And Harry, the audio and visual lord, has struck again. Yeah, that's right. I forgot to turn my other camera on, so you can't actually see what I'm doing. So what I've done is I've gone home and I've redone it. And when I redid it, I didn't turn my microphone on. So yeah, absolutely nailing it as usual. Look, all I'm showing you here is how much oil is in there and what they look like when they go in. So they should have a thin coating. Uh, this oil is actually from a previous previous cook. It was actually what I did the potato bubbles in, which was my dinner, as I said earlier. Um, I'm cooking this in conjunction with another recipe. Let's jump forward about, oh, probably a minute to where we, to where we turn them. So they've been on for about a minute. They're just slightly starting to brown. Give them a quick turn. And then I think we can jump forward another couple of minutes and get back to real time where I've actually got a camera rolling. Oh, how fancy. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't have my B camera recording. It looks like me putting things into oil. I'm so sorry. Literally all I did was dunk each bit into the, um, into the oil. Sorry, dunk each bit into the batter, drop it in the oil, and they've been in there for probably three or four minutes now. I've turned them once. All right, I think they're done. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, a little bit of um, icing sugar on these. Uh, <laughs> yes, this is my deep frying scoopy thing. I don't have a, oh, I don't have a sieve. That was not my best work. All right, let's see if we can do this better. Oil's dripped off, good. Well, largely. Let's try that again. Better, not great. I'd give that a C. I'm gonna blow some of this off. Finish it off with a little bit of a ice cream. Dollop of ice cream in the middle. I can't wait to eat this actually. I hardly ever have dessert, so when I do, I really, really, really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. All right, let's B-roll this. Excited. It's a fork in that spoon. It's really, really nice. If you didn't have a bit of booze in there, it wouldn't be the same. It's not alcoholic, obviously. It's been cooked, but it kind of, I know there's a word for it, but it, ah, like glazes or Pickles, I guess. Sort of somewhat pickles it. Look, if you don't have a freezer, don't bring ice cream. Cream or something like that would be fantastic on this. If you have both, oh, do this. Do this all day. All right, I'm gonna sit down and continue to treat my body like a hire car by eating this after eating, eating those ridiculous potatoes previously. I'll see you in the next one. Oh my God, this is so good.